Hey guys, welcome to another Excel data entry trick with bradegger.com and today I'm going to show you how you can create custom lists in Excel to speed up your data entry. So for example, a custom list, uh, technically it's not custom, but a list that's already built into Excel, for example, or has been created in Excel for you is months. So if we said January, for example, it's going to automatically know with the, um, the, with the fill sequence that it's going to select and show you all the months. So as you drag across using the fill handle, it automatically fills those days for you. So what I'm going to do is just drag this over real quick. Um, we'll just do this and drag it over. So now that I've dragged that over, uh, what I can do is show you exactly how to do this. So we've got a list of salesmen and let's just pretend like we want to use this list of salesmen all of the time. So what we'll do is we're going to head over to file. We're going to go down to options. We're then going to go down to advanced. From advanced, you're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom almost. And you'll see here what's called create list uh, for use in sorts and fill sequences. So if we use edit custom lists here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to select import. We're going to select our list. And I'm going to select import now. And you see I have a custom fill sequence of John, Bob, Sarah, Eric, Sean, Lisa, Ellis. So now if I hit OK and just cancel out of there, you'll see that we can now use any one of these names. If I use John, for example, it's going to start the fill sequence in the order of John, Bob, Sarah, Eric, Sean, Lisa. So now if I drag that down, you'll see that it just keeps on repeating those names over and over. Or if I wanted to just go right to Ellis, for example, you can create that list just like that. So you'll see that that happens. Now, if I were to start at Lisa, of course, and I wanted to see what happened, it would then follow it in order. It would go Lisa, Ellis, then John, of course, and then you'll see it kind of repeat itself again. So that's how you create custom lists in Excel. This is super useful to speed up your data entry if you have certain lists that you use uh, reoccurringly. So definitely start using it because it's something that's going to be highly useful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments below. I appreciate you checking this out. Thanks.